How you doing? Do you find yourself frustrated with where you're going, with how you're getting there, how long it seems to be taken, and just in general, uh, the roadblocks on the way? Stick around. I've got a thought that I want to share with you from our adventure here to the Vermilion Cliffs area of Arizona. I'm Robert Anthony. I'm Joelle Anthony. This is Watson. In 2020, we felt God's call in our lives to do something incredibly radical. In 2023, we sold our flower shop, our home, just about everything we own, and purchased our Winnebago Flex RV. This began our trek into the vast unknown. Our mission is to take you along, showing you things you otherwise may never be able to see. We would be so thankful to have you follow along and become part of our adventures. Now, let's get to today's video. morning. Welcome back, everybody. You see behind me the Vermilion Cliffs National Monument. This is the Cliff, Cliff Dweller area here, and I've stayed here before, not this far in. I've got a great, great, uh, great view I'm going to show you in just a second. But arriving at this spot brought me to some thinking based on our adventures yesterday, and uh, I wanted to share those with you with the hope that they would encourage you if you're facing similar struggles, even if it's metaphorically speaking. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit of a story about what we went through yesterday to get here and how it all ended up to where we're at this amazing spot, just enjoying the surroundings. So let's go down there and talk about it. So we left the um, Hurricane Utah area outside of the Zion National Park uh, yesterday for a trek toward what I would hope to have been uh, a visit to at the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Um, I used our Campendia map to search out a beautiful site and it looked like it was going to work out great. The thing that I found precarious was 67, Highway 67 off of 89A, which is the only one way, it's the one paved road into the north rim. Google was avoiding that. Google Maps was avoiding that. It was taking us down uh, graded dirt roads, which ultimately turned into two-track forest roads that continue to get worse over time. So from Fredonia, Arizona, which is kind of the gateway into this whole area here, uh, we headed into these forest roads trusting that we were going to be all right. Well, we got about 35 miles in on two-track dirt roads, and I eventually ended up having to turn around. And I had to turn around in the trailer and the truck uh, assembly uh, and as we got far in with two track roads that did make it quite challenging 
we were ultimately able to turn around and make it out after driving uh, 60 miles, basically round trip for nothing. We got three quarters of the way where I thought we were going and it ended up being uh, a, a total bust. So we drove through the Jacob Lake area, which is the gateway to the North Rim, stopped and uh, one of the people that works for the lodge there uh, right at the Jacob Lake area, uh, said no, that the North Rim is always closed until May 15th. That meant uh, we would not be uh, headed that way. I wanted to go to perhaps one of the other spots that I've been uh, at the edge of the Marble Canyon, which is about a 25 mile trek down a dirt road uh, that gets pretty treacherous as well. And ultimately, as we sat there and discussed this, we decided that we didn't want to drive all the way down there. So I was able to find a spot uh, at the edge of what's called the Marble Canyon, what you see behind me. That's the Colorado River down there. This is the Marble Canyon area, and the Marble Canyon continues on and ultimately turns into the Grand Canyon. This actually loops around. If you haven't seen my video from a couple of years ago where I was at the edge of the canyon, um, I was at this particular canyon just farther that way, farther over there, uh, which allowed me uh, to stay at the edge of the canyon. We found this spot uh, near Cliff Dwellers over by the Vermilion Cliffs It enters in. We drove in and, and it, it was a, a, the first mile and a half was pretty treacherous. It was quite rocky. We were able to make it back here. Point being, we have found this beautiful spot to stay. When we were coming in, there was a sprinter van that was coming out that we had to share the road with because it's a one-way road. And so we pulled over and let them through. That was about 10 minutes before we got out to this general area. This is about, I would say, five miles off of 89A up to the edge of this canyon. We're parked literally at the edge of the canyon. And it's interesting, I thought about this this morning as I was um, doing some thinking and having some coffee. There was one spot left here. There are not many, there are about five or six out here, out this far at the edge of the canyon, because of course everybody wants to be at the edge of the canyon. If we would have gotten here 15 minutes sooner or a half an hour sooner, there would not have been a spot here. We would have had to have turned around or done a makeshift spot that wouldn't be nearly as glorious as the spot that we have now. But the way that it all worked out, the way that all of the timing blocks fell into place, we got here just at the right time because shortly after we came in, somebody else came in that was looking for a spot and we had already secured ours, so they had to drive all the way back out. You know, in life, when things don't seem to be going our way, when things don't seem to be going the way that we want them to go, we tend to get angry and frustrated. And if we're a believer, if we're a Christian, we wonder why is God doing this to me or why am I not getting my way? Yesterday, I found myself quite frustrated uh, with all of the rough roads that we were driving on. The trailer, we had left a couple of windows open when we were traveling. That was a mistake because the trailer was so full of dirt and dust when we got back. It took a half an hour to get it cleaned, and we were taking out literal dustpans full of dirt that had blown into the trailer, just totally making a mess. All of that, however, pales in comparison to the joy of this view. The Colorado River, the sunrise across the Grand Canyon, or the beginning of the Grand Canyon. I'm gonna be able to do Milky Way photography out here for two or three nights. This on our way to pick up what will end up being our new RV, new used RV. So when you're going through it, when you're frustrated with it, my encouragement to you is trust the process because you never, ever, ever know what kind of view you're going to get on the other side if you just keep going. You just got to keep pressing forward and keep going no matter how hard it might seem, no matter how frustrated you might feel, no matter how mundane and monotonous the drive down the washboard two-track dirt roads might seem. Eventually, good will come like what you see here. And I just wanted to share that with you today. I hope that you found that helpful, and I'd love it if you would subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Appreciate it that you're here as part of the family, and uh, I value you as a person, and I hope you have a great day. Um, if you watched this far, 
This video right here is the video that YouTube thinks that you want to see next. This playlist is of things that uh, I think you might want to see and do, or, and if you click the circle, you're subscribed. And I'd love to have you on board. Have a great day.